a wheelchair. Okay? Right now, they say anybody going to college need to be going into orthopedic medicine. They say in the next 25 years, that will be the hottest thing due to the SAG. We're going to have more young people disabled due to the SAG. But once you tell them that they won't be able to hit it from behind in 20 years, you don't even have to worry about them saying. They don't disrespect you or nothing. The first thing about young people, you have to let them know, I respect you. Therefore, they'll respect you. It's an exchange of respect. It's not about, you know, I was in a car yesterday. I had some people in there, they was like 80 years old. And we riding down 71. And I say, look, look at that horse. He's sitting down. They say the horse sitting down. I say, you know why he's sitting down? I say, you got to be a female giving labor. Have any of y'all ever seen a horse sitting down? Hello? Anybody ever seen a horse sitting down? Because horses don't sit down. They stand up at all times. And what we as people should learn, that we should stand up at all times when it comes to an issue. An injustice anywhere is an injustice for us all. And you have to realize that. If you, if you hit Ernie and you lock him up, you done lock me up. So therefore, if I got to be outside calling, making sure that y'all doing the right thing. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is we have to come together. We have to let the personalities and I know sometimes I'm hard on the soldiers out there. But the bottom of the line, that's why I'm the general. Somebody got to be hard. Somebody got to do it. And I know some days, y'all, y'all really don't want to deal with me. But some days I don't want to deal with you either. But the cause is bigger than what me and you dealing with. Right now, guys, the cause is education. That's how they're going to enslave us again. Education. And if we're not willing to fight for a public education that you have a right to fight for, because that, that charter is a choice, it's an option. That means they don't have to guarantee no funding. But the fact that you have a public educational system, that means the federal government has to provide you a free and appropriate public education and once you decide that you don't want to fight for that right then standing up ain't no good you might as well lay down and be dead anytime you don't want to fight for the children you might as well be dead there's a state hearing coming up about public education it's coming up Tuesday this Tuesday at 9 a.m. it's gonna be in Columbus Ohio if we don't go there and represent, we'll never get rid of mayoral control. I hear a lot of people talk about they tired of mayoral control. But when it came time to go to Columbus and to represent, I didn't have but 10 soldiers. But the key about it is, sometimes I don't have but 10 soldiers here, so I wasn't mad. Because them 10 soldiers I had, they committed, they was dedicated. They was willing to take a bullet. And that's what we did, because we did a dry run. We ended up not being able to actually speak. But from the hell that we raised, from them not letting us speak, we done got three more hearings that our opponents will be able to speak at. So if you miss Tuesday, that's all right. Go Wednesday. If you miss Wednesday, that's all right. Go Thursday. But the key is go. That's what it's all about, y'all. We have to support the children. If we don't believe and fight and stand up for them, then we have no future. And the reason why you said, well, why are you are such so against charter schools? Well, let me tell you why. And then we're going to get to earn and easy awards that y'all came for. My son, David, used to go, I'm going to put it on the, on the line. He used to go to Hope Academy on 131st. Y'all know where that's at? Okay. 
my son went there two years, and they told me uh, he's mentally retarded. I said, he mentally retarded? I said, that ain't no good. I'm pulling him out of here. Y'all ain't certified anyway. Y'all don't follow no standards. You you live on other folk, on the municipal district standards. Y'all don't follow them. Y'all get sponsored by them. I took my son out of there. You'd have thought me taking him out, he would end up being a year behind, right? Well, let me let you know what my son doing now. He had STA, and I put him in STA, which is the Stats Tech Academy, the year after the young man got killed himself, Asa Cohen. And the reason why I put him there, because I wanted to make sure that success tech students had an advocate that would represent and fight for them by any means necessary. And that would be my job. Now, let me get to the good part. My son getting ready to graduate third in his, yeah, they just told me third in his class. 2012. I got him an IEP. Okay, an IEP is something that charter schools don't give. But according to the law, the federal law, it's called 504 plan. And as long as you have a 504 plan, then they have to accommodate, they have to modify, they have to do what the unique needs of that child. So I tell you this, not to call myself global, I tell you this to let you know that your child can do that too. And don't let nobody tell you about your child because as a parent, if you don't know your child, how can somebody else know them? They only got them for six hours. And now they're getting ready, in case y'all don't know, they're getting ready to cut them down and they're gonna go to school from eight to 12. And we all right with that? Are we all right with that? Well, if you ain't all right with it, I'll see you in Columbus next week. Cause that's where they making decisions for Cleveland. That your children will be going to school from eight to 12. They're going to cut special extra activities again. So I'm just, you know, letting you have a little something, as they say, something to go home with and think about. Food for thought. Just some food for thought so that, you know, when you wonder why these kids are failing, or you wonder why these kids can't get to stay tested, one reason is for the last five years, they have reallocated their textbook money. I think the devil in this house. Or the, the, the DJ don't like this dress from the back. One of them. I guess I need to side turn. It seemed like I was. Okay, all right, all right. I was wondering because it sounded like my sound man would, you know. 